This group of protesters readied themselves for a brisk ride from the Octagon to St Clair, describing themselves as a flotilla on wheels. The protesters would likely greet Texas-based oil company Anadarko off the coast of Otago when it starts to drill a test well about 60 kilometres off the coast of the Otago Peninsula early next year. The show of solidarity shown by the cyclists in Dunedin was in support for two local oil-free Otago members, Nevo Flynn and James Rust, who were on board the protest flotilla in the North Island. They're out in the flotilla in Raglan, opposing deep sea drilling at the moment. Today we had a cycle flotilla to show that Dunedin supports them, like the rest of the nation. We're part of a 4,000 strong turnout against deep sea drilling over this weekend. Organisers say they believe the protest flotilla had held up the North Island exploration schedule and they intend to do the same when the oil giant arrives here. Anadarko's southern exploration site is about 60 kilometres off the coast of the Otago Peninsula at a depth of 1,100 metres and will cost $122 million. D. Karen, 39 Dunedin News.